Hey guys, this is Mr. Mary here with you. We're going to take a look at mixtures and solutions today. What is a mixture? A mixture is two or more substances that are added together and each substance still retains or has its own properties. The, the two substances aren't mixing together creating one unified thing. They're, you can actually see the differences in them. Um, the example that I usually give is peas and carrots. When you look at peas and carrots, you have peas and carrots. You can take the peas out of the carrots and take the carrots out of the peas. They still have their own properties. What is a solution? A solution can exist in any state. It can be a solid. Brass is a solid solution. It's an alloy of copper and zinc, such as this trumpet that we have right here. It can also be a liquid. Sugar water is a liquid solution. It's a mixture of sugar and water. And gas. Gas is a gaseous solution. Air is. Uh, and air is a homogeneous solution of nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. They all go together to form uh, the gas solution that we breathe in. Comparing a mixture and solution. A mixture, if you look at this diagram here, we have sand plus water. When you put the sand in the water, as you notice down at the bottom, you have sand in the water at the bottom. They're going to separate by filtering. You can pour it through a coffee filter or any type of, type of filtering device, and it will take the sand out of the water, and all you'll be left with is water. Over on our other side, we have a solution. We have sugar, and we add it to water. The sugar will dissolve in the water. The sugar particles are evenly distributed throughout the water, so you don't see the, the sugar hanging around in the water. It all becomes one solution. That's the difference between a mixture and a solution. A mixture, you can still see the components and the different substances, and you can take them apart easily. A solution, they mix together and form a, a unified um, substance that you cannot easily tell what part is which part. So let's take a look at solutions really quickly. Flavored drinks such as Kool-Aid, that is a solution. You take the package, you dump it in, put it with some water, and the water takes on the color of the Kool-Aid, so it is a solution. Chocolate milk is another one. You put the chocolate syrup in, and of course your white milk turns brown because you added chocolate. And cement. Cement is something that, that you probably didn't think much about because you can see the rocks and things in it, but you also have sand and water and other chemicals that go into it that dissolve in that water uh, when you make that cement. So you don't always see it. You have a mixture and solution at the same time. So what makes these solutions? What makes them solutions is the fact that we have those two or more substances that are added together that are evenly distributed throughout the uh, solvent so that you don't see the different pieces. Um, I hope this helps you understand mixtures and solutions a little bit better and keep that science hat on.